Hey guys, so, um, sorry it's taken me so long to make this video, but this is going to be a slash barn tour. It took me so long because I had to finish making things, and it's still not completely done, but it, um, yeah. So, you, this is like where you, um, like drive in or walk in, and you can park over here. That's where I'll put my truck and trailer if I ever got one. And you come in, and to your right, you'll see um, the arena. And um, so, yeah, and it just has all these jumps in these in here. Um, this is Briar stable mate jumps, so they're a little bit small for um, a slice. But um, I really like this jump because you can take the poles off and make it different levels. And then the one the poles you're not using, you can use as ground poles. So that's really cool. And then um, over here, we just have some really, really small stable mate barrels. So that's the arena. It's quite large. Um, so then over here, we have the bunnies. Um, here's their hatch and open. And it has another ramp on the other side. And then. Uh, here's their pen. They just have this little patch of grass that they can eat. Uh, this is um, Oreo. And the breed she is, she is a English spot. And I know this because I do rabbit 4-H and I know all the breeds of the rabbits. And uh, fun fact, uh, there's 47 different breeds of rabbits. And then this is uh, Thumper. And he is a tan. That's what his breed is called. So there are the rabbits. Then over here, and I have three real rabbits myself, so. Um, this is the cow stall or barn, whatever you want to call it. Um, they just have this bedding and this chain guard. And by the way, I've made like everything, except for like the rabbit pen and house, or hutch. And so they have bedding, and then they have this food trough, which doesn't have any food in it right now because I haven't made cow food. Um, this is my Holstein cow. This is Bessie or Big Mama, and she's just wearing like a cow collar that I've made. It's like that big circle is to lead her, or it kind of looks like a bell in some ways. And then um, this is the Holstein calf standing. Um, this is Charlotte. So there are my cows. Over here is the pig. He has the same thing, chain uh, guard, then the bedding and the food thing over there. And if you're wondering why it's so big for one pig, it's because I'm going to get the um, sow and the, what's it called, uh, piglets. So they're going to need a lot of room. And I don't remember what breed he is. But this is Wilbert. So, yeah. And now I'll show you the tack room. Okay, so right next to the pig, we have the tack room. So you just come in and you see um, our blanket rack. It has just this um, slash blanket. And then it has this blanket that I made, which is my first blanket I ever made. So it's, it has a lot of glue on it and stuff, but it has two buckets. Well, two clips there and two clips here, and they go on the other sides. So, I think it turned out really nice for my first blanket. Um, so, oh my goodness. So, yeah, I'm going to put that back later. Uh, then, over there, we have a um, picture of, the, of our future Hanoverian... Um, stallion grazing in the pasture then right here we have um so there's that um our lips on a mirror practicing dressage with one of our riders then over here we have six saddle racks we just have this um english saddle it's just from the riding set then um we have this we have five uh bridle hooks and this bridle um, is broken because my cats chewed it, but I can um, glue it 
back together. So, yeah. So there's that. Then over here, we have a picture of her future Arabian mare. And then under her, there's like this little window that you can open and it stays open. So that's cool. I don't know. <laughs> and then over here, we have six lead halter hooks. So, and then if we carefully turn it around, you'll see why I said carefully. Um, we have our feed bags. We have horse and pony cubes. Uh, that's Young Stock Pellets con Competition Mix, Conditioning Mix, and Senior Mix. And they all have these like little clips on them. And then we have a shelf. Uh, these always fall off. That's what fell off um, earlier. Uh, this is our trophy, first place and second place ribbon. These are um, from Briar. Then we have a picture of her lips on her gelding performing in a show. And there's her lips on her mare and future lips on her foal. See? Uh, running in the pasture. I'll just fix it later. And it's falling over. <laughs> so, yeah. Then if you go over here. Oh, I'm sorry if you hear that noise. I don't know if you can. Um, it's my fish. I turned off the bubbles so it wouldn't make so much noise. But, it, yeah. Um, so here's our pasture. This is the mare pasture. And later, I'm going to make a selling gilling pasture. That's the only thing I haven't finished. But I didn't think it was too important. So it just has fencing and this uh, fake grass. And then it has a um, water trough that I've made out of popsicle sticks. And then I just have a stream over here. It's a paper with some um, rocks. Then, um, they have all this, like, running space. Here is the run and stall or lean-to. They has two different names. Um, and the roof comes off like that. And it can fit two horses comfortably and three horses smushed. So that's if it, like, starts snowing or raining or something, they can go in there. Then, if you come over here, we have this little, like, pathway. Um, here, oopsies. Here um, we have our science says, Welcome to Redwood Stables. We offer lessons, Western English training, boarding, and breeding. And it has our little logo. Then we have our tree that my grandma painted. And it has these, and she also put all these in. But some of them have fallen out. So it's really cool. And it's slice size. So it has just this stuff to make it kind of look like snow, I guess. And now we're going to go to all the stalls. Okay, so these are all the stalls. I'm going to show you what all the stalls have. So I'm going to go to her because she has a better example. Um, all the stalls have, hold on, this um, tra chain guard. And the chain guard can hook onto there when the horses are out. So it's not on the ground and like a horse doesn't like trip on it and stuff. So that's cool. And then um, they have their halter and lead uh, hook. And all their lead, uh, um, all their blankets and halters and leads all match. <clears throat> and then they all have a name tag. Has their show name and their breed. So this is gingerbread or a ginger or halfling or mare. And it all has the logo. Um, sorry if my voice is all crackly. I'm kind of sick. Um, and this is Gingerbread. She's in really bad condition. But then they all have a food bin. And that's rubber, so it's really realistic. And then they all have that little hay um, thing that I made. And then, so we'll start over here. This is Cloud, or Silver Cloud. She doesn't have a halter because it's broken. She's the lip is on a mirror. And there's Ginger. And over here. Um, oh yeah, and they all have windows so they can see each other. This is Dakota, the paint yearling, but I accidentally put mirror. So I need to fix that. And she is orange. And so that's Dakota. And they all have different feeds, like Dakota here has the young stock pellets, and they all have different amounts of feed. 
So, yeah. Then, here, this is Peaches and Cream or Peaches Icelandic Pony Mare. And this, she has lavender, but my grandma, my grandma makes the leads. She hasn't made hers yet. She's one of my favorites. I love her. Okay, then over here, this is Blazing Amber, the Hanoverian Mare, or Amber. Uh, she doesn't have a halter right now because it's broken, and my grandma hasn't made the lead yet. So that's Amber. Then next to her, this is Luna and Bella, the Appaloosa Mare in full, and they have these blue and you're probably wondering wait that's not slice that's because you're right these came in a set for me to paint and i painted these these are my first horses that i ever painted i turned up i think they turned out pretty good um so but they're slice scale so i thought i would use them for slice so that one is uh bella and she's a bay appaloosa and that one's luna she's black appaloosa and I love how I did her face markings. I like that a lot. So, those are the Appaloosas. And so, here's an overview of them. Those are all my mirrors. It, this thing can hold 16 stalls. So, that's really nice. Oh, here I have all my selling gildings. But right here, this is our only person. And, um... Once I get more actual slice people, because she's not slice, then she'll be like the instructor. Oopsies. So, yeah. Then, right here, this is Stormy Winter, or Winter, the lip is on her gelding. And he has green. So that's him. And right here next to him, who's um, looking at him, he's the only horse that can do that, because he's so tall. Um, this is Sable, Arabian Stallion. He doesn't have a name tag yet. And then he is Red. And then over here, this is Little Poncho. He doesn't have a chain guard yet or a name tag. He can also do that. Like, he can look over it, but that's because he's a pony. And I made his stall really short for him. Like, this is his stall compared to that stall. Yeah, you see a difference there? So, <laughs> yeah. So that's a little poncho. He's also one of my favorite. Poncho, ginger, and peaches are all my favorites. So, um, that is my barn tour so far. And, um, I will probably be getting some slice for Christmas, so I'll do a video on that. And I think I'm going to do a video of all my tack that if anyone is interested, I'll be selling. Um, so here's the barn. Then there's a tree and the sign. There's the pasture, the arena, the rabbits, the cow, the pigs, and a messy tack room. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and request any videos. So yeah, okay, bye!